Hi everyone, I have another haul video for you. Yay! I'm actually pretty excited. I've got three, um, four different hauls. Um, these two here that I've got in front of me, they um, came in like a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't really want to, I was waiting for the other two to come in before I did a haul video. So I'll do these two first because they're minier ones. So this one here is from Artified in Australia, which has a lot of um, um, mixed media art supplies. So really good for all that sort of stuff. And what I picked up was I'm doing the I did the watercolor online classes thing, and Jennifer McGuire did a video on there that uses this masking fluid to either when you like you can stamp an image onto watercolor, and then put this over that image and then watercolor around the outside of it, and then when you rub this off, that's still white. So. Um, that was one of the techniques she was showing. So I picked this up. This is the Windsor & Newton Colorless Art Masking Fluid. So I've used it once and it works really well. It comes off really, really easily. So I was really impressed with that. And then I got this, which I've been waiting to come in stock for ages. It is by Dina Wakely and it's her art journal freedom book. And I've been spying this for ages, as I just said. But she goes through like the basics of color theory and um, like you can get inspiration just from her examples in here but she goes through supplies and then there's you know all of her favorites then she goes through things like asymmetry and you know teaches you all those sorts of artsy type rules and then does like a technique as well for you to you know play along at home with so I think this is great and then she does like white space and all sorts of things and look you can just look at her journal pages and that's beautiful enough like I personally would love this just as a coffee table book which it does sit by my couch and I read it when I'm sitting there in front of the TV so and it's just beautiful like um, gives you examples tells you stuff proximity and goes through all the rules and the one I really like is sorry I'll just flick to it color basics so it's basically like which colors not to blend together so you get a muddy mess so and it's I just love this book because it's gonna be like my go-to reference guide for you know anything whether it's card making or art journals or anything like that as far as how to align like items on your card or on your page so they look you know appealing to the eye and which colors to use and which colors look better together and all those sorts of things so I just really wanted to show you this because it was really hard to find online. Like I'd heard about it, but I really wanted like a flip through. Couldn't find one online. So I'm just flipping through for you. So many, so many gorgeous art journal pages. Just love it. So, and yeah, she goes through. I love that she does the techniques as well. Just teaches you a lesson and then, you know, has you practice something and then teaches you a technique that uses, you know, that lesson. So I love her little scribbly birds. So yes, this is my um, Dina Wakely book and I'm super excited. I haven't read all of it yet. I flicked through it but um, <laughs> I haven't actually read all of the content yet. So that was that. I'm super excited. It was $28.95 from their website and I happened to get like a free shipping um, special that was on so I didn't have to pay for shipping which is why I put the order in to begin with. So love that. Um, and to go with it, I got Dina Wakely's new um, Scribbly Bird Stamps. Oh, I love these. They're hand-drawn Scribbly Birds. And look how big they are. Red rubber, really deeply etched. They're just really beautiful. I love all four of them. I love the sayings that go with them. There is nothing I can fault about the stamp set. So I am going to love, love playing with this one. And the birds are just small enough to be like a main feature on a card or like a smaller feature in an art journal. So I like that I can still use them in the card and on an art journal. So I think that is fabulous. I cannot wait. Um, and then after a lot of searching online for other types of like watercolor paper and that sort of thing and what works good for 
watercoloring and everything else. Um, I found one website that, and I forget where I found it, but they really recommended, um, they were reviewing like Strathmore watercolor paper versus mixed media paper, and then they had Canson watercolor paper, and just saying what they had found, and they said that they got better results with the Strathmore mixed media. This is the 140 pound or 300 GM, um, and it's series four or 400 series best. So that was um, what they found was that this was um, a really good paper. And what, like I haven't played with it yet, but what I have noticed so far is that it's ultra smooth, like watercolor paper, the cold press has that slight textury feel, whereas this is smooth, smooth on um, both sides. So and it does say for wet and for dry mediums. So um, this should be really good to stamp on. Whereas you have to be a little bit, you know, particular when stamping on the textured paper. So I really want to try this. There's 15 sheets, A4 size, um, 9 inch by 12 inch, and it was only 10.75. So I mean, you could get four card fronts out of each sheet. So that's heaps of value for me. Um, yeah, so really happy to try that one out. And then the other order I got, and this was after I watched Jennifer McGuire's. Um, blog when she was reviewing the um, Studio Calco uh, color theory inks and she had a coupon on her website for free shipping and I thought oh yeah just be US shipping but no it was free international shipping so they worked out to be about five bucks per um, ink color and she was in love with them they're a dye ink and what really sold me was that they are non-staining ink. <gasps> I know, if you've noticed in my blogs, or like, you know, before my other haul videos, I am obsessed with having clean, clear stamps. So the moment she said that there was a range of dye inks, not pigment inks, dye inks, that um, were easy to clean and didn't stamp your, like stain your stamps, I was in love. So, <laughs> I tested them, and the red and the orange, they leave like, you get 99% off. So a slight, slight hint, not even enough to annoy me. And I'm kind of a bit obsessed about clean stamps. So that 